right, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like he found our next contestant. We gonna take out that dude and snatch his old lady. <laughs> Yo, Frank! Give me a hand here. Hey. What... What gives? Considering the helicopter and all, we have to work together. But that doesn't mean we can tell you everything. And everything we do tell you can't necessarily be printed. Yeah, so? So, I just want you to appreciate the situation. Well, we're up to our necks in zombies. Yeah, I think I appreciate the situation just fine. Zombies. I still can't believe all this, you know? Seems so unreal. You all right there? Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> you should rest a while, Brad. You go ahead and catch some sleep first. 
We can switch in four hours, okay? Before this whole thing started, someone called the professor and told him to come to this mall. Jack the line, did you? So was this the caller, this guy here? They've got something to do with the zombies, don't they? They're the reason we came here. And if he gets away with Dr. Barnaby, none of our questions will be answered. Zombie child. I'm going for it. You just worry about staying alive. Got it? He's unconscious, but alive. Ah, damn! Are you all right? Yeah, but I'm not in any condition to carry him. Can you get him back to the security room? Sedatives taken effect. The professor won't be waking up anytime soon. I managed to stop the bleeding, but he's running a fever. He needs medicine. A fever? Medicine, huh?
came to vandalize my store. Huh? Not on my watch! Someone's been hurt. I need medicine. Hurt? That's just what this bitch said when she came to vandalize my store! I don't take kindly to vandalism. I won't allow it! Listen to me, and listen good, partner. I don't allow vandalism in my store! My store. My... run my store when I'm gone! <laughs> my store... My food... My sales... My... Customers... Have a nice day. Clean up! Register six! Ugh. Back in the land of the living, you're one tough cookie. Can you stand? Look, I, uh, I saw you at the entrance, yesterday. You needed medicine too. Maybe we should work together. I don't need any help. You people don't know a thing. You're the ones who caused this nightmare. You ruined Santa Cabeza and started all this. He's stabilized. He should be fine for now. Are you all right? You have blood on you. Huh? Oh, yeah. Must be from that girl I saved. Girl? Was she hurt? I offered to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. Anyway, she was saying something about Santa Cabeza. Santa Cabeza? I think I... <laughs> Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. Santa Cabeza. I should have known. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done with. You plan to dispense justice now? Calm down, Dr. Barnaby. We're only following orders. We have to protect, protect you. Protect? More like imprison. Professor, if we're going to protect you, we need to know the truth. All of it. Please, talk to us. I take it you know what Santa Cabeza is. Am I right? <gasps> Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. Maybe if I can track down that woman again. <laughs> 